we are stepping up the level of our services. Our goal is to treat your loved ones with the respect they deserve. We are taking our services to new heights. We are stepping in a new direction. Step into the new millennium with Golden Gate Fund, where service begins and never ends. Hello and welcome to Ask the Undertaker, an opening on this look at the funeral service brought to you by Golden Gate for your home and crematory with facilities in Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas, Texas, and Tallulah, Louisiana. I'm your host, John Beckwith Jr. and I'm joined today by the pastor, A. Lewis Eton of the Church of Living God, Temple 280. Blessings on you. We have our chief film director, Mr. Kevin Haynes. Hello, everyone. We have our sister and chief financial officer, Miss Carolyn Haynes. Hello, everybody. And we have the pastor, M.T. Body Jr. of the St. John Baptist Church of Hillsboro, Texas. Praise the Lord, everyone. All right. Today we're coming from Luke, the 14th chapter and the 28th verse. Dr. E. Tom, you read that for us. The word of God says, for which of you intend to build a tower, sit it not down first and count it the cost. All right. Today we're going to talk about the high cost of funeral services are over. Now, Chief, Mr. Beckwith, our founder and owner, my father, wrote that slogan over 30 years ago. High cost of funeral services are over. And I believe what he meant by that is that funeral directors had gotten to the point where they were charging so much for funerals that most people couldn't even afford it. We, we found that people was losing all their savings and spending all of their insurance money just for funeral services. So Mr. Beckwith said, hey, that, that's not going to work. We're not going to offer to the people an affordable service. And how much is a funeral right now at Golden Gate Funeral Home? Right now at Golden Gate Funeral Home, our service is $1,995. So for less than $2,000, I can have a complete funeral, including the casket. That is correct. Now, what's the national average for a funeral around the nation? The national average is $6,500. So the national average around the entire nation is 6,500. Yes. But at Golden Gate Funeral Home. $1,995. And that's why we can say the high cost of funeral services. Is uh -oh. over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, Carol. Yes. And it's, it's, it's not over for everybody. <laughs> but if you choose the wrong funeral home, you can still pay, pay too a much. High price. You'll mm -hmm. pay too much for that service, John. And Dad always wanted to give an honest service for an honest pay. Uh, he made that statement because he had to pay so much or didn't have a lot of money for his own mother's funeral. And that really hurt him, and he knew it would hurt people as well. They want to give your, you want to give your loved one a decent service at a cost that you can afford. And that's what da Dad started, and that's what we're doing today. It's interesting, uh, Pastor Biden, one of the number one sayings said, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. But that's not always true. That's right. Sometimes you can overpay for the exact same thing. What merchandise do we offer with that $1,995 service? Well, Brother John, uh, we do offer a metal casket. Okay. That comes in six different colors. Now, who's the manufacturer of that metal casket? Batesville. Batesville Casket Company. Yes, the number one casket company in the world. world. So the other funeral homes that's averaging $6,500 mm -hmm. for the exact same service, they can't offer anything better than a baseball. Right. Because they are the number one casket company in the world. So for nineteen ninety five, I'm gonna get the exact same merchandise or something better. Right. Is that getting what you pay for? <laughs> getting what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> if you call the right, right funeral right home. Golden Gate funeral home. You can overpay for a funeral if you call the wrong funeral home. Yes, sir. You very much so. And uh, the thing is, if you want the best and the best prices and the best service, the best place to call is Golden Gate Funeral Home. High costs of funerals are over. Are over. <laughs> chief, help me out with how much, now we started our business in 1980. Help me out, Chief. What was the average funeral service across the nation in 1980? In 1980, it was $1,800. In 1980, in 1980, the average was $1,800. And we're having a funeral today, 33 years <laughs> later, for only 1995. What about, uh, in 2000, what was the average funeral around the nation? In 2000, it was uh, probably uh, 4,500. 4,500 or so, mm -hmm. and we're still at 2,000. We're saying today it's all the way up to 6,500. 6, 6, you and, get and it's, add you know, to that. And it's, it's so 
Funny, when, when your dad came out with this slogan, you know, the, the high cost of funerals are over. You know, I grew up at a different funeral home okay. before I came to the Beckwith family. And we were, you know, and I say we because mm -hmm. I was part of that group. You know, we were saying that Mr. Beckwith, he's, he's going to ruin this industry because of these, you know, these low funerals. We, he can't afford to do that. But after <laughs> I grew out of that and, and, <laughs> and came to the Beckwith family, I found out real quick, you know, the families are, are happier. And 33 years later, the yes. business is still there. Still here. But the competitors, Carolyn, said that we're going to ruin funeral business, but they never thought about the customer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They were more concerned about themselves. themselves. They're saying, listen, if you lower the price of funeral business, all of us can make as much as we used to. Yeah. Not the idea that our customers need a break. Exactly, John. When they said that, they were saying, you're ruining this for me. Okay. So it was a very selfish act. And we've always, with Dad teaching us, we've always had the customer first and foremost mm -hmm. in our business. He came in and just kind of crunched some numbers with Mom, and Mom threw the numbers back out at him and said, we can do this, and these families can live afterwards. Because you know Dad would love to say that. Baby, don't put all your money in the ground. You have to live <laughs> afterwards. Mm -hmm. So yes, sir. And he coined that phrase, and we're still living by it today. Even today. And Pastor Bobby, we still <laughs> advertise that phrase today. It's in Dallas Morning News. Right now, in the obituary section, high cost of funerals are over. over. And we're not ashamed, Pastor Eton, of telling people what our prices are. That's right. It's on the internet. If you walk in, we'll hand you a price book. It's listed in the newspaper, uh, what we charge for our service. How much is cremation, uh, Chief? Cremation is $650. $650. Can you imagine? This is, this is interesting. A lot of people won't believe this, Carolyn. You and I sit down together, and we called one of our competitors. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing about that, John, it was 10 times the cost of our funeral, of our cremation. And one day I was happy in a family, and the lady just asked me, she looked at me, and she said, Carolyn, is their fire hotter? Mm -hmm. Why is it that they can mm -hmm. afford to, or they say they have to, charge me 10 times what you're telling me? And it's just not true, is it? It's not. It's, it's not fire. true. They are just... <laughs> Wanting to make yes, more money sir, off of are. you. Mm -hmm. And we're saying you don't have to do no, that. You, you can choose Golden Gate Funeral Home. And what's interesting, Chief, we own our own crematory. We right. do. We don't have to take your loved one somewhere else. It's done right there at our facility. Everything is under one roof. One roof. And you can actually witness, Carolyn, yes, your loved yeah. one being placed. Now, how important is that? Very, because they want to see your, you want to see your loved one for the very last time. And there are so many myths out there about they don't really cremate your loved one or they cremate more than one person at a time. That gives you that peace of mind that it's my loved one and my loved one only going into that chamber at that time. Do we charge any extra for that service? No, we do not, John. No extra. Still $650. A lot of film directors watching this right now, Kevin, they're not liking this. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. So now, now those competitors are going to still talk about now, not only Mr. Beck, but now Mr. Beck was children. It's still ruining <laughs> funeral business for them. <laughs> for them, but not for the customers. The customer. Yes, Pastor Bobby, that's why it's so important. We talk about it every week, pre-needing funeral services. Right. Because if you would have pre-needed in 1980, you could have gotten a funeral at Golden Gate Funeral Home for six hundred dollars. Dollars, yes, yes sir. sir. But today that price is one thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. What we found, Chief, over the years is that that price over 20 years goes up by three times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. three, three, three times and a half. the yeah. price, mm -hmm. and that's nationwide. That's that's not Golden Gate Funeral Home. That is Nation nationwide. nationwide. But Pastor Bob, if I pre-need today's prices. Do I, does, does my funeral ever go up? No, sir. Like you, you said, freeze it freezes it. And 20 years from now, where the rest of the nation is paying three times the amount, I'm still paying today's cost. Today's cost right now. And, and that's the benefit of a pre-need. It financially just makes good sense. <laughs> financially. <laughs> what happens is we'll purchase insurance, uh, Chief, and we think it's going to cover the funeral. And it will today. Today. But is that insurance going to change 20 years from now? <laughs> the insurance won't change. Okay. But the cost of funerals will. So if I took out a $20,000 insurance today, 20 years from now, how much is that insurance company going to pay me? It's going to pay you $20,000. Still 20. It doesn't increase with inflation. No, yeah. sir. Mm -mm. And what I need it for has increased. Yes. But a pre-need will stop that from happening. It will freeze that cost. Because in 20 years, you can almost guarantee that the, the way the rate has been going, 
a funeral service only will be twenty thousand dollars in twenty years. And we know that because we're just looking at the past. You yes. said in nineteen eighty, how much was it? Yeah, in, in nineteen eighty, it was uh, it was eighteen hundred. In nineteen sixty, it was seven hundred. It was just seven hundred dollars on a national average in nineteen sixty. In nineteen sixty. Mm -hmm. In nineteen eighty, we saw it went up three times. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then in the two thousands, it went up another three, three, times. Another three times. We could almost bank on it mm -hmm. doing that each time. So if the average now is sixty five hundred. We know when we know we're going to be right at $20,000. Right we can 000. almost guarantee uh -huh. that's going to happen. <laughs> but you can freeze today's price. Uh, yes, sir. Isn't that amazing, Pat? That's, that's amazing. And, and you don't have to worry about that. And don't have to worry about it. And you could just go on and have everything in place. And plus, not only that, do you freeze the cost, but that keeps all that emotional distress off your family. Families doesn't have to come in and make any, any decisions. Decision. And they get to save some money, too, don't <laughs> <laughs> That'll take some stress off of you. Yeah. Yes, no. But let's talk a little bit about the emotion. I know it's something we bring up every week. Tell me, Carolyn, why is it so important to save my family from making emotional decisions? Because, John, there are so many things that you have to do at a funeral. You have to get everything in order, get everyone in order. But then I've got to come in and choose your casket. I've got to choose what you're going to wear who's going to perform at your service. That is just too much for one person to be able to handle. It becomes way too overwhelming. You put those things in writing. You tell them every day what you're going to wear, how you're going to do your hair, colors that you like. So tell them for your funeral, in your pre-need, exactly how you want your funeral to go. And that's one less thing they have to cross off that list. They don't have to worry about it. Emotionally, it is done, done for them. What about my wishes? Uh, Pastor Body, what if I want to be cremated, but my spouse wants to bury me? What if I want to have a lavish funeral, but my children want a simple funeral? Whose wishes should be covered? Your wishes should my be covered. My wishes should yeah. be covered. It's your funeral. It was your life. It was your funeral. You know what you like out of life and what you want in death. It's your decision to make. We need to not depend and put that burden on our family members after we pass on, we should do it, as oftentimes says, as the blood is running warm in our veins, we need to sit down take a pre-need, write our wishes down. So there won't be no questions of what color casket, or what suit, or who's doing this, that. It's your wishes. I like to put it this way. You design your own funeral. Right. It's your funeral, it's for you. You know what you want at your funeral. Why would I want to come in here and bring you a black suit when I know you like red? Isn't that something? That's your wish. Because you like black, you're going to make me wear black. <laughs> <laughs> at your funeral. <laughs> at my funeral. And, and it's interesting, uh, Chief, we offer services from one extreme to the other. Yes. We offer private services where no one is there but us and the family. And the family. And we offer lavish services like what you'll see on Best Funerals Ever. I mean, to the extreme. extreme from one extreme <laughs> to, to the, the other. other. Who should be making that decision what you want? You should make that decision. You should make that decision. And it has nothing to do with the fear home. Mm -mm. And it shouldn't mm -mm. have anything to do with your family. Right. Right. It should be made by you. Now, Carol, this is the number one thing as a CFO. I know you recognize this. People will say, I know I need that pre-need, but I can't afford the pre-need. What do we say to them? What we tell them, John, is you have no excuse. We offer what we call a free pre-need. Okay. You put absolutely no money down. But then the other two points with the pre-need, emotionally and your wishes, are done, and that's priceless. No charge. No charge. You can do a pre-need with Golden Gate for your home and don't have to pay a dime, dime. for it. No. It's no excuse why everybody in the world wouldn't have a pre-need with Golden Gate exactly. for your home. Exactly. You can pick out exactly what you want, all the emotional part is done, and your wishes will be in writing. writing. Third thing we talk about every show. Help us out, uh, Pastor. Well, we talk about, you know, not, uh, not only with your free need, but we talk about our insurance. Talk about the insurance. Yes. Why does everybody need insurance and a pre need? <laughs> because now your pre need, you are taking care of your service. But your insurance, you're leaving a legacy and an inheritance for your family. Wouldn't that be terrible, Chief, if I took your inheritance and paid for my funeral with it? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we see that every day. Every People day. will walk in with an insurance policy and pay for a funeral. their funeral. Yes. And that insurance should have been left an inheritance. That is correct. It just happens too often. And Carolyn, so often we'll get those insurance policies in the wrong beneficiaries. Is on there. Help us out with the beneficiaries of insurance. Well, John, the people we say all the time that should not be a beneficiary, first of all, is your minor child. Okay. We love our children, but in order to take care of them, we cannot leave them as beneficiaries. State of Texas will not even allow them to contract, and they can't contract with Golden Gate Funeral Home. 
So all the monies you put in place for them, they cannot use, and they need that money today. Also, you need to have someone that's alive. We still see way too many of those policies as well. <laughs> Mama took care of everybody. She exactly. got insurance on everybody. She's the beneficiary and she passed away. You need to change your beneficiary to someone that's alive. And last but not least, someone that you trust. <laughs> we still see way too often people come in and we can't find the beneficiary. Or the beneficiary will say, how much is that policy? Oh no, I'm not spending my money Right. on your funeral. Because it's no longer the deceased person's money, it becomes the beneficiary's sure money. Mm -hmm. And we have to make sure that's somebody we can actually trust, trust with this. And this yes, is interesting, uh, Pastor Body. quite often we'll take out insurance, because we'll see those commercials on TV. The average funeral is $6,500. And we'll take out enough insurance mm -hmm. to pay that $6,500. Mm -hmm. It's some things we forget about that you have to add to a funeral. Help me right. out with some of that. Well, first of all, you gotta have a, somewhere to be buried at. So the you cemetery. have to add either a cemetery or a crematory, crematory. charge to that At funeral. Yes. Now people don't understand, uh, Carolyn, quite often there's a lot comes with a cemetery. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. People say all they I got to do is buy ground. Mm -hmm. It's a little more. <laughs> and, 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 just tell me one other thing they have to now, add to it. Opening and closing, John, they they sit there for a moment and they look puzzled and we have to explain exactly what opening and closing of a grave is. Just because you buy that grave space, it's just there, but you must open it in order to put the casket in it and then you must close it back. So digging the grave up, covering it back up is called opening and closing. closing. What's the average price for opening and closing, Chief? <laughs> opening and closing is around $1,300. That is expensive for yes. somebody to dig a grave that I already own mm -hmm. and to cover it up, but you have to pay for that yes, at the is. time of service. Yes, sir. So you can't take out just enough insurance to worry about your funeral. What's another thing I have to add to a funeral? What else besides opening and closing? Well, sometimes you have to add uh, like programs. Programs. You know, average person wants programs pro at the want funeral. A program at and a and funeral. She, people don't want regular programs no more. Oh, no. We used to, <laughs> to run them off a copy <laughs> no. machine. No. We gotta have what the kind book. of programs we have now? We have yeah. to have the big book. The well, big we have book? To, we have to start in color and it has to start from, from birth mm -hmm. all the way through. And we got to put everybody's yeah. picture on Everybody's picture. We leave one everybody's picture tribute. off. We got a problem. Yes. Everybody's <laughs> tribute on it. Mm -hmm. We got to have at least uh, 24 pages oh, on yeah. a program now, right? And those get very expensive. And those are things. What else, Carol? We have to add to it. Flowers. We love to send flowers okay. and have flowers at our funeral. And funeral and flowers, just like everything else, are going up every year. Mm -hmm. So flowers can be an expensive part of your funeral as well. What, what else, Pastor, you got to have on a funeral? Some limos. Got to have a limousine. <laughs> got to have some limos. Got to get, get you there. Got to have a parade. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got to gotta bring a blizzard through town. Okay. All right. If you use Golden Gate, we'll snow on Yeah, we'll snow on Well, help us out there. <laughs> How much is a limousine? Well, limousines at Golden Gate Funeral is $300. And that's per limousine. limousine. Mm -hmm. And now, people are under the impression that if I get a limousine, I can put my whole family in it. A limousine doesn't hold that many people, does it? <laughs> so each limousine sees seven people comfortably. Now, that's interesting you say that because people say, listen, on the door it says it's a 10 passenger because most limousines are written that. But also on my sedan, they call it a five passenger. Mm -hmm. And but I haven't got five people in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely not five people besides me. I only can put another three people in mm -hmm. one of the biggest sedans they make. Right. Just because it's, say, 10 passengers. What size people are they talking about? Uh, they must be talking about the, the smaller people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they talk about people our size, we got a problem. You got a problem. Yes, sir. So, Chief, when we say it holds seven people comfortably, it's not what's written on the door. No. That's what it actually holds. That's what it actually holds. And then what else you need to add to the film? Well, going back to that cemetery, okay. we have to have an outer burial container. Now, this is interesting because the state of Texas doesn't say I have to have one. No. Why do I have to have one? Because of the cemetery. It's a cemetery requirement. The cemetery can require me to have it. Even though the state of Texas said I don't have to, the cemetery can make me. That's right. And you have to pay for that. Yes, you do. Yes, sir. Now, some people say just mm. throw me in the ground. Cemetery say no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just put me in a wood box. Cemetery say no. no. Now, Carolyn, why can't I just be thrown in the ground or just put in a wood box? Well, John, the, most of the time it's a concrete liner that cemetery is requiring. Okay. And they're doing that for themselves, for the maintenance and upkeep at the cemetery. But it also keeps the weight of the earth off of your casket to keep it from being crushed. Now, I don't want to upset nobody. Right. Hmm. But if you put a wood box inside the ground. Yes. And then cover it back up with the weight of the earth, what happens to that wood box, Chief? I'm not going to see it. It's going to crush. It's going to crush. <laughs> That's right. And it's not going to protect that casket. No, a wood box would not hold the weight mm -hmm. of 
the earth. The earth. Yeah. It's going to crush, and it's almost going to crush immediately. immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so often you'll see, in the, especially in the rural cemeteries, you'll drive through and you'll see the cemeteries going like this, and then mm -hmm. it'll dip down. <laughs> right. Because what has happened? It's been Something has crushed crush. down and uh -huh. caused that weight of the earth to Just sink. To sink. Mm -hmm. And that's, Carolyn, is the reason why that concrete box is mandatory. Exactly. They're in the cemetery. So it's for both your protection and the maintenance of that cemetery. And a concrete box, Chief, doesn't stop water doesn't stop dirt, doesn't stop anything from getting to my casket. It's there just to keep the weight of the earth. Mm -hmm. And I have to add that as an expense to my funeral. 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 So I need to come to Golden Gate Funeral Home so it's an affordable funeral yeah. because mm -hmm. now all of a sudden I have to add all these extra yeah, things. Sure. What else do uh, I need at a funeral, Pastor Bob? Well, you're probably going to want some flowers, too. Don't got, got my flowers. What about escorts? Do I have to have escorts? Yeah, you need some escorts. Need some escorts because somebody's going to have to do what, y'all? Control the traffic. Ooh, Control the traffic. traffic. Somebody's going to have to stop those red lights. Right. What else, Chief, do I need at a funeral? You are going to need a newspaper article. I'm going to need a newspaper. I'm going to want to I'm going to tell my <laughs> friends that I passed Past away, away. Yes. and this what? is where my funeral is, and this is what, what time, time to come. And how expensive is a newspaper article with a picture? In Dallas Morning News. $450. That is expensive. Mm -hmm. People yes. have no idea it costs that much, Pastor. Yes. $450 just to make an announcement in the newspaper my loved one passed away? Yes, That's sir. your picture, picture and just your name and the information about where so when you see the funeral is going to be. When I see them big write-ups, when oh, this yeah. tells what they did for a living and where they work. Carol, mm -hmm. how much one of those cost? At least $1,500. Yeah. Some of them $1,500. Yes, it's interesting, y'all. I was watching... I look at the newspaper every morning, and I saw one. I said, this is beautiful. They talked everything about him and had a little, had him in a square box. And I called the doctor. I said, how much is this? They said $4,000. Oh, my goodness. And listen, Ooh, guess how many times it runs? One, one time. time only. So when they say $450 for that article in the newspaper, it's only going to run one, one, one day. Yes. That $4,000 article ran for one, one day. day. And these are expenses I have to add to my, to funeral. To my funeral. funeral. So we talk about high cost of funerals are over. Mm -hmm. That's going to be important, Chief. Mm -hmm. That's going to be <laughs> very reading important. Boy, reading your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, that money you thought you left me, yeah. mm -hmm. all of a sudden you thought you really gave me something, mm -hmm. I end up spending all of it on your, you know, on your funeral. So we talk about three things. We talked about the pre-need. We talked about the insurance. But, Carol, there's another thing that's very important. That will, John. Okay. We cannot get that across to people enough that everyone needs a will. If you mm -hmm. have nothing else, you have instructions to leave your family. The person writing this will, you gave your family instructions about when to get up and what time to go to bed. They still need those same instructions when you pass away. You don't want them in there fighting over your china cabinet, over your bedroom suit. Anything that you own, you don't want that chaos and confusion. Please get a will. So important, Pastor. <laughs> and the will not only is it gonna leave my personal items, but it's also going to leave some persons behind as well. Mm -hmm. How important is it that I include my children in my will? It's very important because if you don't, you end up doing, letting someone on the outside handle your business. And that's something you don't need. And we're talking about my children, Chief. Right. We're not talking about my car right. and right. my house. Those are very important things. I want to lose my inheritance mm -hmm. and how hard I work for those things. But also, the court can make a decision on where my children go if I don't put them in the will. They will make, <laughs> they will make a decision as to where and whom your children will live with. You need to put that in, in, in your, your will. will. That is so important, Carolyn. It is. Not only that, if I marry someone that's not the mother to my children, my children can come back and challenge her. Right. That's not right. You have to leave that instructions, John. You have to leave everything about your life. We talk about finances all the time, but you're exactly right information regarding your children and the money you left for your children. You need to put that in a trust. Make sure someone that you trust takes care of your children when you're no longer here. Pastor Bible, we see too often stepmothers having mm -hmm. to fight with stepchildren. Right. Stepfathers having to fight with stepchildren at the time of death. Mm -hmm. A will can eliminate all of that. It would eliminate all that chaos and confusion. It would take it away because you have left the right instructions. You put it in the right hands of people who you trust that know how to handle your business affairs. And that's why it's important that you don't wait. Do it now. Okay. While you have the time, while your mind is clear, while you're in the right health, take out a piece of paper and a pen, write down all these wishes, mm -hmm. where your money go, where your child is going to go, where your car is going to go, who gets this, who gets that. Get it notarized. Make some copies because guess what? 
Don't leave nobody out. Because if you leave that one person out, <laughs> he'll be the main back. one coming back and protest the will. So, right, include everybody. If you don't leave nothing but your love, leave them that, and then you move on so your family can have a peaceful celebration of your life. Carol, I got mm. a call last week. I can't call any names on television. But she, this is what she said to him. She said, the children are really upset, John, because their stepmother tore up the wheel. That's why we tell you all the time, John, mm -hmm. make copies because the person either that's not in it or doesn't like what's in your will, they will tear it up. And then they decide on the courts. The judge comes in and he does not know you. He does not know the dynamics of your family. So he will go strictly by the law and whatever percentage they are entitled to is what they will get. Chief, I told, know what I told her? That was smart. Because <laughs> if she tore up the yes. wheel, it must have been something in there she didn't, she didn't want. Like. Exactly. She didn't like. No, sir. But what that person should have did was did what, Chief? I would have videotaped it. I would have <laughs> recorded it. And I'm not leaving it with one <laughs> person. Yeah. I'm going to put it with who? Everybody. 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 Listen, if you're in my wheel, why not just going to give you a copy exactly. of it? Yeah. So why not leave it with an attorney? Why not leave it uh, more than in one place? Right. Right. So if someone is upset with it and they try to Tear, tear it up. up. <laughs> we don't have to worry about right. that. So we want to make sure everybody has a pre-need, right, Carol? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We said three reasons. Financially, it makes sense. Emotionally, it makes sense. And my wishes, wishes. need to be. And I need to pay for my own funeral. Yes, you do. Chief Sides, you shouldn't use your inheritance no, please don't. to pay for my funeral. <laughs> and insurance, we make sure we need to get more than enough. Right. Yes, sir. Make sure we have enough to take care of our oh, families. Yeah, right. And we're talking about these wheels. We can't say so many people are watching right now, Samson. Saying to me and saying to themselves, I don't need a will because I don't have anything don't to leave. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, I know you have a child out there. Mm -hmm. You have something out there that needs some instructions oh, from you. Right. More yes, important, sir. we want everybody to know that the high cost of funerals are what, y'all? Over. It's over. Call Golden Gate Funeral Home. You don't have to pay that high cost for funerals or cremation ever again. How much is a funeral to Golden Gate Funeral Home? $1,995. And how much is cremation, Carolyn? Direct cremation is $650. And remember to watch Ask the Undertaker every Saturday right here on channel 47.2 at 7 o'clock p.m. and every Sunday morning at 5.30 a.m. on channel 21. And you all know my favorite, the, the radio, radio, show. radio show. Every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 o'clock a.m. on Heaven 97. That's 970 AM on your dial. You can actually call in and ask questions, and everyone in the panel will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And if you can't get enough of us, watch us at GoldenGateFuneralHome.com, and we're on there 24 hours a day. May God bless you. May God keep you is our prayer. We are stepping up the level of our services. Our goal is to treat your loved ones with the respect they deserve. We are taking our services to new heights. We are stepping in a new direction. Step into the new millennium with Golden Gate. Where service begins and never ends.